If you want to buy an optical device and have a hard time deciding whether you should go for a telescope or a monocular, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the two and then choose. Although these share many similarities, they also differ significantly. So, let's get started. Number 1. What is a telescope? A telescope is a tool for viewing distant objects. Most of them work by using curved mirrors to gather a focus light. The mirrors or lenses in telescopes are called optics. Powerful telescopes can see very remote objects, and to do that, they need large optics. The bigger the optics, the more light it can gather. The shape of mirrors or lenses focuses the light. That's what you see when you look through the telescope. However, the optics must be almost perfect and in the right shape to concentrate the light. Any scratches, spots, or other imperfections can cause image distortions and blur. Number 2. What is a monocular? A monocular is a small, low-powered optical device similar to a telescope or spotting scope. You hold it in your hand like a binocular but use only one eye. Monoculars magnify distant objects using lenses or mirrors, gathering and focusing light or infrared radiation in the case of night vision instruments. Their size is their most significant benefit. Some are no larger than a thumb and can easily fit into a purse or pocket. Number 3. The size, design, and magnification. A monocular is, in a way, a mini telescope. They have been modified to use several prisms or lenses to magnify remote objects effectively. A larger monocular is still considerably smaller than a small telescope. Because of their size, they are much more portable and compact. You can even carry some models in your pocket. Since monoculars are easy to hold and carry and provide a quality zoom, they are great traveling companions. Moreover, they are generally less expensive than telescopes. Most monoculars have magnification power between 4x and 10x. Some offer higher zoom, but that reduces the image quality. Why you might ask? A higher magnification results in a smaller aperture, a narrower field of view, and, finally, a questionable image. Typically, you don't need a tripod when using a monocular telescope. However, you might need it for higher zoom levels to stabilize the image. For that reason, it's better to use the normal range of magnification. Number 4. The setup process. Monoculars don't need any setup, so they are excellent for on-the-go explorations. However, there's much more setup with telescopes that can be time-consuming. Moreover, they typically need additional equipment and are large. So, if you want to use a telescope and enjoy it, you'll need eyepieces and a reliable and stable tripod. On the other hand, monoculars are self-contained. Typically, they feature a knob for magnifying and an adjuster for focusing. They are located on the monocular and are simple to set up. Number 5. Which one is for you? Let's figure out which optical instrument is better for you. It all depends on what you want to use it for. For example, if you love watching birds or wildlife, scouting, or hunting, a monocular is a much better choice than a telescope because it's lightweight and convenient to carry around. You can also use it to watch stars. The best monocular for stargazing will allow you to see them more clearly, but it still can't compare to a telescope. 